Because when we look at like the Great Pyramids and think, why in the world did they build all of that around the king's chamber with the the sarcophagus there, where again and again, all of the mystics, they all say is not a burial tomb. It was an initiation chamber when the priests were ready for the seventh stage of initiation. They would fast for three days and, and then they would come and they would lay down in the sarcophagus or somewhere in the king's chamber if the Ark of the Covenant was actually resonating in the sarcophagus. And the whole thing would be this giant resonant device that would take people into the the frequencies that could transcend the physical body, transcend the pyramid, transcend the, the body of the initiate. And then they would go out and spend three days basically communing with God, seeing how, how the universe really works. And then they would come back into their body and that's when they would begin teaching. And, and then you look at the, I don't know how many of you, raise your hand if you've been to the, the, the Giza pyramid. So I can see if any, anybody's been there. Okay, the, I highly recommend that you put it on your bucket list. It was on mine and I went there with Nassim's group a few years ago. Absolutely mind blowing. Uh, and you see these, some of these stones which weigh hundreds of tons and were supposedly dragged up the, the, these inclines with ropes, you know, carved with copper tools and then lifted into place and with you and you literally can't fit a, a credit card or a piece of paper between the stones we can't even do it today much less do it with those instruments back then and then a lot of these stones particularly the big obelisk is way up to 700 tons and cannot be lifted with any there's only one i'm told there's only one crane on the planet today and it was just finished recently that can lift lift that so a lot of these stones, even the 700 ton obelisk, came from a quarry 100 miles away and crossed the Nile. So what, how did that happen? I don't know, but my sense is that there, was, there were beings way more advanced in consciousness than us, who either had technology or could do with their minds, they could actually render the stone into a plasma state where the stone would, would float and where it could be shaped almost as if it were clay, and then could be, it, 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 they could float it through the air, put it in place, and then it would, they'd change the vibration and it would harden into granite again. So that's one bit of evidence of consciousness, advanced consciousness in the past. 